Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Mining Engineering. I am Satya Brother. Today's video is about surface blasting part 2. This is the continuation from the previous surface blasting video lecture. In this video, we will uh, discuss the explosive consumption per hole, the linear charge concentration and the power factor of the blasting. So what is the explosive consumption per hole? That means the amount of explosive consumed per hole in kg for blasting. Suppose this is a open cast bench and this is the blast hole and this I is the charge length and T is the stemming length and we know what is a charge length. A portion of the hole is filled with explosives and the length of the same is called the charge length. Likewise, the rest portion of the hole is filled with sand or drill cuttings to arrest the escape of the gas produced from explosive detonation and that is called the stemming. So in this charge length, we have provided certain amount of explosive. That amount of explosive is called the explosive consumption per hole. Then the linear charge concentration is the amount of explosive poured per meter charge length. That means, let us suppose this is the blast hole and the D is the tie of the blast hole and I is the charge length, similarly T is the stemming length. Suppose in this uh, I charge length, we have provided 50 kg of explosives. Okay, so in this uh, we have provided 50 kg of explosives and this charge length let us suppose is 5 meter so the linear charge concentration in this case will be 50 kg divided by 5 that means it will give you 10 kg per meter length. That's what it is saying. The linear charge concentration is the amount of explosive poured per meter charge length. So per meter charge, if, if we have provided 50 kg of explosives and in this blast hole, this 50 kg of explosives is linearly adjusted in the 5 meter length then per meter there is 10 kg of explosives this 10 is called the linear charge concentration for this blast hole so linear charge concentration lc is equal to mathematically if we have the dia of the explosives we can calculate the always the drill holes are drilled in circular shape so the area will be pi d square by 4 okay and if we multiply this with the this rho e is the density of the explosives it will give us the linear charge concentration okay Now let's see what is the powder factor. Powder factor is a relationship between a rock mass and the explosive used to fragment it. The term powder factor can be used to describe either the weight of explosive per unit volume of material blasted or the weight of material blasted per unit of explosive consumed. Let's understand this. Powder factor is Metal blasted per hole in ton divided by explosive consumed per hole in kg. It can be otherwise represented as weight of explosive consumed per hole in kg by material blasted per hole in ton. We will understand this by solving one problem. Okay, problem number 3, problem number 1 and 2 already discussed in the video lecture 1 of surface blasting. Suppose an iron ore mine bench is being extracted by drilling and blasting technique. 
density of iron ore is 2.5 ton per meter cube. The burden and spacing used in the blast is 3 meter and 5 meter respectively. The depth of the bench is 10 meter and average explosive charge per hole is 50 kg. If 14 number of holes are blasted, then calculate the ton of rock will be blasted through the blasting and the power factor for the blast in ton per kg. The problem is similar to the earlier problem which we have uh, solved. Let's solve this. The given parameters, the bottom is 3 meter, spacing is 5, depth of range is 10 meter and there are 14 number of blast holes. Density of the rock is 2.5 ton per meter cube. So the volume of rock will blast burden into spacing into depth into number of blast holes. It is 3 into 5 into 10 into 40 that is 6000 meter cube. And if we multiply with the density of the rock that is 2.5 ton per meter cube, it will give us the ton of rock blasted that is 15,000 ton. This much part we have already discussed in the previous lecture. Let's see what's the power factor. Here one more parameter is given that is the average explosive charge per hole and that is 50 kg. That means in one hole we have provided 50 kg of explosives. Okay. Let's find out the rock blasted per hole so bottom into spacing into depth into the density of the rock so bottom is 3 into 5 into 10 into 2.5 that is 375 ton of rock will be blasted by a single blast hole so the power factor is ton of rock blasted per hole divided by explosive consumption per hole. Here 375 ton of rock is blasted per hole and the explosive consumption per hole is 50 kg. So our power factor will be 7.5 ton per kg. It's a very simple one. Let's solve one question on linear charge concentration. Suppose an iron ore mine bench is being extracted by drilling and blasting technique. Burden and spacing used in the blast is 3 meter and 5 meter respectively. The depth of the bench is 10 meter and the explosive charge per hole is 50 kg. If the explosive charge length is 5 meter, then the linear charge concentration in the blast hole is dash. This type of questions will come in the competitive exams like GATE and other PSU examinations. Let's solve this. The given parameters burden, spacing, that is 3 meter and 5 meter, depth of hole is 10 meter, the explosive charge per hole is 50 kg, charge length is 5 meter. So the linear charge concentration that we know the amount of explosive charge per meter length of blast hole. So in the 5 meter, Okay, we have already seen this is a blast hole, this is charge length. Okay, so the question says that in 5 meter length, in the charge length 5 meter, there is 50 kg of explosives. So, in the 1 meter, there will be 50 kg divided by 5 meter, that is 10 kg per meter. So, the linear charge concentration for this blast hole will be 10 kg per meter okay let's do one more problem on linear charge concentration suppose an iron ore mine bench is being extracted by drilling and blasting technique the diameter of the drill blast hole is 100 millimeter and the explosive charge used in the blast is SMS site mixed lorry. If the specific gravity of the explosive is 1.28, then find the linear charge concentration of this blast hole. Let's solve this. As you know, 
the blast tool. This is charge length and this is the stemming. Here the D is provided, that is the diameter of the blast tool is provided. Here we don't know what is the amount of explosive provided in the hole. Here it is given the tie of the explosives and we know the specific gravity of the explosives. Okay. So the diameter of the blast tool is 100 mm. The specific gravity of the explosives 1.28. Okay. This is the new term for you, I think. Specific gravity. That means it is the ratio of density of the explosive to the density of water under standard condition. Okay. We are comparing the density of explosives to a reference density and and here the reference density is taken the density of water is taken as the reference density so the specific gravity of explosive is density of the explosive divided by the density of water and we know that the density of water is one so the density of explosive will be specific gravity of the explosive into one Okay, let's, uh, okay, one more important thing here. You should remember one ton per meter cube is equal to one gram per cc. It's a very tricky thing. One ton equal to 1000 kg, that means 10 to the power 6 gram. One meter equal to 100 centimeter. So, 1 meter cube equal to 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube. So, 1 ton per meter cube equal to 10 to the power 6, 1 ton equal to 10 to the power 6 gram. Similarly, 1 meter cube equal to 10 to the power 6. This is 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube. So, it is also 1 gram per centimeter cube. So, you should always remember 1 ton per meter cube is equal to 1 gram per centimeter cube. Let's come back to the question. The diameter of the blast tool is given 100 mm that is 0.1 meter. The specific gravity of the explosive is given that is 1.28. So the total charge per hole will be pi d square by 4 that is the area of the circle. If you multiply it with the height, the charge length height will get the volume of the cylinder up to the charge length. Then if you multiply it with the density or the specific gravity will cut will get the amount of material that is presented in the five meter length that is the total charge per hole but look into the question here the charge length is not given and the question asked in the question is find out the linear charge concentration for the blast hole okay we know the linear charge concentration means the charge length per the charge amount of charge per meter length so the charge length for the calculation of the linear charge concentration the charge length actually it is not required if you solve this thing we will get the amount of explosive the total charge per explosive will be 50.24 kg and for the calculation of the linear charge concentration we are dividing the total charge to the we are dividing the total charge by the charge length and we will and we are getting the linear charge concentration at 10.04 kg per meter that means if we multiply pi d square by 4 into rho e we will get the linear charge concentration directly we will solve some more problems related to this topic from the gate question paper. Thank you.